ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಅದರ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಪ್ಲಾ ಅದರ ಇಸ್ ಹೈಪರ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ನಾವು ಕರ್ಚಿನಮ ಕೋಲ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಐ ಸೈಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕ್ಯೂರೇಬಲ್ ಮೆಲೆಗ್ನೆನ್ಸಿ ಲೆಸ್ ಅಗ್ರೆಸಿವ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಅದರ ಜಿ ಐ ಮೆಲೆಗ್ನೆನ್ಸಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂನ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಯು ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ದೀಸ್ ಮೆಲೆಗ್ನೆನ್ಸಿ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಅರ್ಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂನ್ ದೆನ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಯುವರ್ ಔಟ್ಕಮ್ ಇಲ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಯು ಮೇ ಬಿ ಬಿಲ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯೂರ್ ದ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಕಾಮನ್ಲಿ ಅಡಿನ ಕಾರ್ಸಿನಮ್ ವೆರಿ ರೇರ್ಲಿ ಇಸ್ ಕಮರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಕಾರ್ಸಿನಮ್ ಅಡಿನ ಸ್ವಾಮಸ್ ಕಮರ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಕಾರ್ಸಿನಮ್ ಅಡಿನ ಕಾರ್ಸಿನಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಇನ್ ರೆಕ್ಟಮ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾಯ್ಡ್ ಸಿ ಕಮ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಕೋಲಾನ್ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕೋಲಾನ್ ಈಚ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ರಾಕ್ಚರ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕೋಲೋ ರೆಕ್ಟಮ್ ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಓ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾಯ್ಡ್ ಸಿಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೋಲಾನ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾಯ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಾಮನ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಮ್ ಸಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಎಮಂಗ್ ಎಮಂಗ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾಯ್ಡ್ ಎಮಂಗ್ ಕೋಲಾನ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾಯ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಾಮನ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೈಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಎಮಂಗ್ ಕೋಲೋ ರೆಕ್ಟಮ್ ಅವರ್ ಎಮಂಗ್ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೈನ್ ರೆಕ್ಟಮ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಾಮನ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೈಟ್ ಎಮಂಗ್ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ರೆಕ್ಟಮ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಾಲ ಕಾಮನ್ ಎಮಂಗ್ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೈನ್ ರೆಕ್ಟಮ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಾಮನ್ ಸೈಟ್ ಎಮಂಗ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಎಮಂಗ್ ಕೋಲಾನ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾಡ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಾಮನ್ ಸೈಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸಿ ಕಮ್ ಸಿ ಕಮ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ವೇರ್ ಎಸ್ ಇನ್ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೈನ್ ರೆಕ್ಟಮ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾಡ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಸೊ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟೈನ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ಸ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ದ ಸಿ ಕಮ್ ಎಲೋಸಿಕಲ್ ವಾಲ್ ಟು ದ ಎನಲ್ ಕೆನ್ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಕೋಲಾನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೆಕ್ಟಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಕೋಲೋ ರೆಕ್ಟಮ್ ಕೋಲೋ ರೆಕ್ಟ ಕೋಲೋ ರೆಕ್ಟಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎನಲ್ ಕೆನ್ ಆನ್ ವೆಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಕೋಲಾನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕೋಲಾನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸಿ ಕಮ್ ಟು ದಿ ರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಜಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೋಲಾನ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಕಾಮನೆಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿ ಕಮ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೋಲೋ ರೆಕ್ಟಮ್ ಆರ್ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈನ್ ರೆಕ್ಟಮ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಾಮನೆಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಸಿ ಕಮ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ತರ್ಡ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಬಟ್ ಟು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೋಲಾನ್ ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಾಮನೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸೈಟ್ ಸಿ ಕಮ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟಿಯಾಲಜಿ ಡಯಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಡ್ ಮೀಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಾಚುರೇಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ಸುಲಿನ್ ಕೋಲಾನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಎನಿ ಜಿ ಐ ಮೆಲ್ಗೆನ್ಸಿ ರೆಡ್ ಮೀಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಹೈ ರಿಸ್ಕ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ಆ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಜಿ ಐ ಮೆಲ್ಗೆನ್ಸಿ ಇಸ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ರಿಸ್ಕಿ ಡಯಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೆಲೆಗ್ನೆನ್ಸಿ ಕೊಲೆಸ್ಟ್ರಾಲ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬೈಲಾಸಿಡ್ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ದ ಇಂಟರ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಲ್ ಲೋಮೆನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆಕ್ಸಸ್ ಎ ಕೋ ಕಾರ್ಸಿನೋಜನ್ ಹೈ ಕೊಲೆಸ್ಟ್ರಾಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎ ಹೈ ರಿಸ್ಕ್ ಟು ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಕೊಲೋನಿಕ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಹೈ ಫೈಬರ್ ಡಯಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಕೊಲೋನಿಕ್ ಕೋಲೋನ್ ಎಗೇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ವೆಜಿಟೇರಿಯನ್ ಡಯಟ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಅತ್ ದ ಚಾನ್ಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೊಲೋನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಅತ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಟೆ ಇಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಹೈ ಫೈಬರ್ ಡಯಟ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಗುಡ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಸಿಯಂ ಇನ್ ಡಯಟ್ ಪ್ರಿವೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕೊಲೋನಿಕ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಬೈ ಕಂಬೈನಿಂಗ್ ದ ವಿತ್ ದ ಬೈಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬೈಲ್ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೋಲಾನ್ ಇ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಕೊಲೋನಿಕ್ ಮ್ಯೂಕೋಸಲ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಟು ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಪ್ರೊಲಿಫಿರ್ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಸೊ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಸಿಯಂ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಕೊಲೋನ್ ಇಟ್ ಪ್ರಿವೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೊಲೋನಿಕ್ ಮೆಲಿಗ್ನೆನ್ಸಿ ಡೈಟರಿ ವೈಟಮಿನ್ಸ್ ಎ ಸಿ ಇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜಿಂಕ್ ರೆಡ್ಯೂ
and after a few years patient develops opposite becker cancer or in the tongue so they are called metacrons gross and it is very common in the colon especially in the hereditary non pulmonary colonic cancer hncc remember with the high chance of incidence is 25% this is again mcq question remember it's a short note also after cholecystectomy and ileal resection there is increased bile sort and so more prone for carcinoma colon radiation increases the risk actually definitely radiation given for some other condition maybe lymphoma or maybe spine disease whatever it is conditions you give radiation that increases the alters the mucosal mucosal pattern mucosal uh, dna changes and that cause of the uh, high chance of turning into carcinoma eventually in due course of time of course ureter sigmoidostomy done for something else because that uh, ureter urine in the uh, sigmoid colon in the mucosa uh, we could alter the its uh, ph and uh, cause the very high chance of turning into because it's very irritant and then malignancy at the junction actually usually at the stroma site increase the risk by 100 to 200 times it increases remember acromegaly may increase the risk aspirin calcium and other things protects against colonic cancer i am repeating it i already discussed this one it protects from the colonic cancer those who are taking long term aspirin calcium they increase the less chance of getting carcinoma colon so all these are the risk factors again a short note ask risk factors for colonic cancer i already discussed you should be able to write one by one genetic other cause protects which protects which increases the risk all those things so pathogens very interesting is adenoma sequence adenoma carcinoma sequence it is usually it occurs from adenoma then it goes for a carcinoma that is the usual is not direct actually most of the colonic cancer develops from a polyp or adenoma pathway adenoma carcinoma sequence is called as normal epithelium initiation by 5q loss apc gene i already told 5q 5q chromosome dysplasia hyperproliferative dna methylation early adenoma 12p activation ak ras intermediate adenoma 18q loss dcc and uh, late uh, adenoma action by 17p loss 53 carcinoma spread don't want to remember all these things remember just remember normal epithelium irritation dysplasia adenoma early adenoma late adenoma carcinoma that is just what you feel remember sufficient normal normal epithelium dysplasia early adenoma late adenoma then carcinoma this is if you remember this much sufficient very very difficult to remember these numbers but this is the actual fact i want to i i have to give the actual facts to these people you people that's why i put that one but you remember the sequence normal epithelium dysplasia early adenoma late adenoma carcinoma that is the meaning of adenoma carcinoma sequence no confusion normal epithelium dysplasia early adenoma late adenoma carcinoma that's a sequence just remember actual fact is all these numbers are happening pathologically but very difficult to recollect but from your point remember this you can so that understanding purpose 80% of colorectal cancer arises from the loss of heterogeneity it's very important loss of the pathway loh pathway is very very important loh pathway is due to apc gene defect in fap kras mutation alter in the cell cycle this is the mcq question because 80% of colorectal cancer occurs in the loh loss of loh pathway from a loss of heterogeneous pathway it was zygosity pathway it was zygosity not genus it was zygosity pathway loss of heterozygotic pathway loh remember loh pathway is very important heterozygotic heterozygotic pathway is very important when there is a loss of this then uh, definitely um, high risk of chance of developing colorectal cancer heterozygosity pathway if there is a loss then uh, it happens 20% colorectal cancer develop from the mutation of re re or replication error repair pathway where in repair mechanism of dna replication error is lost re or method so non hereditary colonic colon cancer hereditary colon cancer it can be sporadic colon cancer 80% 60% it can be familial uh, it can be familial uh, uh, colon cancer common in ashkenazi jewish population very common in non very common in the jewish population hereditary colon cancer or fap and hereditary non colonic cancer actually Pure Jaeger syndrome, two to three percent risk of cancer uh, colon. Cronkite Canada syndrome, juvenile polyp syndrome. It differs from isolated juvenile polyp discussed earlier. It is an asymptom dominant condition. Of course, children, adolescent, germline mutation of SMD, SM, SMAD4 gene is observed. It increases the risk of colon. So that is the juvenile polyp syndrome is different from the juvenile polyp, which I discussed in the uh, benign tumors of the colon. Juvenile polyps are not pure malignant condition. 
but a juvenile polyp syndrome is different remember it is a genetically different genetic related autosomal dominant condition so this point is very there is a difference between the juvenile polyp syndrome juvenile, juvenile polyps just juvenile polyps are different they are not merely pre malignant condition they won't turn into malignant where juvenile polyp syndrome is different remember that's the point i wanted to stress here this is this is the, this is the heritage this is the part of the hereditary colonic syndrome actually so this is non hereditary here so this is the classification which you have to remember of an ascla mcq hnc is the short note remember so hereditary non polyposis colonic cancer this is the important short note which i already told no polyps autosomal dominant that is important it's not polyps word itself gives the meaning there is no non polyposis no polyps remember three members of the family have colonic cancers two per degree relatives will have same cancer two consecutive generations observed one relative with less than 50 years age will have colonic all these factors should be fulfilled to say it is a hereditary uh, non polyposis colonic cancer lynch syndrome is one of that it is again a short note or mcq question which is the mcq question very commonly one there are two types of lynch syndrome remember under hncc is site specific commonly right sided of course in early age group 40% are metachronous which is mainly right sided so lynch syndrome is associated with the right side colonic cancer left side colonic cancer transverse colonic colonic cancer colon rectal cancer like that uh, mc question will be there so it is always associated with the right side colonic cancer and 40% are metachronous that's also point to remember lynch second is other malignancy in uh, stomach breast ovary endometrial urinary bladder it is a cancer family syndrome so uh, lynch syndrome one is isolated colonic malignancy in the right side whereas lynch syndrome 2 is colonic cancer plus cancer in other part of the body ovary stomach breast endometrium urinary bladder and so on this is the point which is a which is a cancer family syndrome this is isolation isolated malignancy in 1 and 2 again this is the mc question remember micro satellite instability is very very important point in genetic dna level which occurs in the hncc again mc question micro micro satellite instability is seen in hncc in uh, non hncc in fvp in uh, adenoma polyp like that so they will ask question it is a feature of hncc remember so no polyp comes in the picture in micro satellite instability so that is a feature of hncc that is a point you have to remember that is a feature of hncc account for 3 to 5% of colonic cancer why i am repeating is it is very important because mcq will get confused amsterdam criteria 1 is 1990 amsterdam criteria 2 in 1919 and revised by the guidelines all the all these things are used to diagnose hncc so it is a important short note no polyp is important thing you have to remember it's always it's autosomal dominant everything is everything in this table is important to remember as far as hncc is considered amsterdam criteria at least three relatives are common cancer one affected person is third degree relative other two affected person two successive generations affected at least one case of colonic cancer diagnosed this whatever i have told that comes from amsterdam criteria modified amsterdam criteria is same as amsterdam except cancer must be with the hncc hereditary non polyposis colonic cancer this is only for colonic cancer that if it the hncc that is called modified amsterdam amsterdam criteria there may be colon endometrial polyurethral polyp you know, specific colon like a, like a lynch syndrome 2 it is another is the amsterdam criteria with one of the following is the better da it is the same thing with one of the following two cases in hncc associated with the cancer in one patient including synchronous metachronous cancer colon cancer and first degree relative with the hncc associated with the cancer or colonic adenoma colon or endometrial cancer diagnosed before the age of 45 right sided colon cancer that, that has an undefined pattern of signet uh, or signet cell type before the age of 45 adenoma diagnosed before 45 is along with the this one this one plus one of these things any one of these uh, things this one plus one of this one. this plus this any one of these things is is a better diagnostic so it's all related actually mainly for uh, predict the uh, or assess the or pathology pathogenic uh, pathogenic assessment of the uh, colonic cancer uh, there is nothing to nothing to explain these things because uh, these are all facts only so nothing to explain actually whatever the fact is written here just you have to recollect and recuperate you have to repeatedly read and understand clearly it's the only thing which will ask us a short note mcq mainly mcq hncc is a short note hncc is what you hncc hereditary non polyposis called hncc is a short note for you so you remember that and this amsterdam criteria may be mcq seen used in carcinoma colon like that you have to remember understand this is the only thing is recollect